All right, Shalom, Shalom. <clears throat> I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and who teach well. Much peace and mercy to the whole of the elect. You brothers and you sisters wholeheartedly waiting upon the Lord Yahweh to send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, to deliver us from his captivity. To you, I say Shalom. This is going to be a quick lunchtime video. Um, somewhat of the basics and is going to be entitled study to show thyself approved rightly dividing the word of truth and I'm starting here 2 Timothy 2 and 15 study to show thyself approved unto the most high a workman that needeth not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth see so rightly dividing the word of truth is the point in this video because you have a lot of men who aren't uh, rightly dividing this word and um, I'm actually going to go to the NLT and I'm going to read this in the NLT and see what it says <clears throat> Second Timothy 2 and 15 work hard so you can present yourself to God and receive his approval be a good worker one who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly explains the word of truth. And that's fire. You see? Because it says, and. So not only will you not be ashamed, but it says, and who correctly explains the word of truth. You have men who are incorrect, incorrect, incorrectly explaining this word. You see? You have men teaching out of their own hearts. You have men coming up with these different wayward doctrines and heresies. They're not rightly dividing the word of truth or correctly explaining the word of truth. So Yahweh Shemiel Shai, he has separated men. Um, when you go to, let me just go to it in the blue letter, Jeremiah. Where you at, Jerry? There you go. 3 and 15. And I will give you pastures according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. You see? So you have pastors who are completely and 100% set up by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, to teach this word according to the will of Yahweh himself. You know, a lot of men, they're not walking in the will of the Lord. They're walking in the will of the world and in, in, in the lust of their flesh. So when you hear these different doctrines like hell and, uh, you know, man can only be with one woman. You know, you can have sex on the Sabbath and, you know, um, the MOTB is not uh, the microchip. It's 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 some it's all sin and whatever. All these different things that you're hearing from these camps, right? Oh, you got to keep the law, the law, the law, the law. Never teaching about faith, never teaching about Yahweh Shai, never, never um, showing mercy, right? These men aren't set up by Yahweh Shai because the, the Lord, he said he will set up passes according to his heart. You see, the Lord is merciful, is long suffering. Well, why would why would he create a dimension for uh, for you to burn in eternity? Like, come on, man. How is that merciful? Where is mercy in that? And then for all the ignorant men or women or children out there who who may just really just didn't get it, you know, didn't understand it. Uh, you know, they might have scoffed or whatever, but they were they were blinded or, um, you know, what is just say that the, they're um Isaiah 6 and 9, eyes that they have, they see not, ears to hear, but they hear not, uh, uh, the heart to, under, uh, to, but not understand, roughly paraphrasing, right? Um, you, you expect in those people who were blinded by the Heavenly Father and, and this knowledge was sealed away from them to just burn into in, in eternity forever? Come on, man. No, the Lord has it set up he has a number of, of men, women, and children who's going to receive salvation, who's going to receive uh, uh, 
a different body changed. You see? And then you know two thirds of the nation of Israel they're gonna die on this side, but they're gonna come back. They're gonna come back through the loins of those changed in new bodies. So this is why I read that scripture, rightly dividing the word of truth. Because if you have it their way, then you shit, we're all through, man. You know, they're they're pushing the law. The scriptures clearly say that we're not justified by the law. No flesh is justified by the law. So now it is through faith. It is through faith that we are saved. You know, the, the spirit is is uh, willing, but the flesh is weak. Um, uh, the flesh profiteth nothing. It is a spirit that quickeneth. There are so many scriptures that 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 show you that this is all a spiritual. This is a spiritual warfare. This is a spiritual battle. And if you don't have the right understanding, then you won't be able to you won't be able to teach that. Um, let's go to Proverbs. I quoted it a few times in my previous videos. Proverbs four and seven: Wisdom is the principal thing; therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. So you're you're lacking wisdom and you're lacking understanding. When you say that the Heavenly Father is, oh, well, is there's another dimension where uh, <laughs> it's not, it's no longer under the earth. It's another dimension now where you burn forever and, you know, whatever. I don't know, bro. Like, it doesn't make sense. It can make sense. It's a fear, it's a fear tactic. You see? And you have this huge congregation. You know who I'm talking about. The main group who teaches these these things. You have a, a whole group of people who who are being led astray. That's why the scriptures say the blind leave the blind and will both fall into a ditch. But there's going to be genuine men. I just I say men. I don't know about the women. I I, I ain't I say there's gonna be some genuine men who may be of the elect who is gonna come out of that group. And, and Lord willing, be saved, man. Because it, it ain't no way. Ain't no way, man. You know, apostles and elders have been teaching the same the same word, the same uh, way, the same doctrine since they came on the Internet, man. Ain't even before. You know? And, and, and you got groups and people out there who claim to be Israelites, who claim to be leaders and prophets and bishops and whatever constantly changing up what they say constantly changing up what you know what the scriptures mean constantly changing up the breakdowns so what that's why we as men of great millstone and, and affiliates etc etc you got to study to show thyself approved because if there's ever a time where uh shoot a man of uh iyz or whoever or even a woman it might be a sincere woman asking questions, concerned about her safety and her, her salvation because she think, oh, if I mess up, if I, if I break this law, I'm going to hell and burning forever, you know, calling on Jesus Christ and, 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 and whatever. You might have sincere questions, might have sincere um, desire to learn. Now, if that woman, you know, she has a man, obviously, you would, you know, she has to be taught by her man. But, hey, through the spirit, we're set up to be teachers, man. Whenever you, like, imagine, uh, for example, when you go into college, you have a professor or a teacher, right? What do they have? They have their syllabus and they have their work documents, the different work that you're going to do for that semester and a lot of times it doesn't change it's the same syllabus they might have re, re, revamped it to uh, uh you know maybe use a typo somewhere or whatever or you know the, the worksheets might you know the different assignments and things like that it might add an extra question but for the most part semester by semester it's the same information it's the same schedule it's the same syllabus because why because the truth don't change. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's the same with us. 
we're not gonna keep we're not gonna keep changing up what the MOTB is. We're not gonna keep changing up uh, uh, what what the Lake of Fire is. We're not gonna keep changing up who who um, can receive salvation. Because you got Israelites out there that's saying that you know these uh, different heathens can be saved, and they can't. They will be saved for sal uh, for slavery, but but the scriptures say that uh, the salvation is of the Jews. Yeah, how I said that. So we are we are to be teachers, man. You know, perfect your profession and become a teacher. Study to show yourself approved and rightly divide this word and teach. So I want to give all praises again to Yahweh Shai. Shalom.